Hey everybody, welcome to another 101 level tutorial for the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Today I am clarifying the rules on fleeing the board and what that really means when any part of your ship base crosses over the edge during movement. Um, I pulled out a T-70 X-Wing and an FO TIE Fighter to help illustrate this point. And as you can see, the T-70 is kind of a little bit precarious position because he's at a weird angle and he's really close to the edge. So he's trying to get out of the situation and get away from the, T or the FO TIE Fighter. Uh, tries to do a hard left too. So he flips over his movement dial, drops his template down, and then he goes, oh no, my mo movement template has me going off the edge of the board. Does that mean that my ship has technically fled? And the short answer is no. The only two points that matter for the off board rule is the starting and, and ending position, and really actually just the ending position, but you should always look at both, of the ship. So if the ship drops down here at the end of the movement template, you can see he's clearly within the edge of the board. Now, the reason why this got a little bit confusing uh, in part was due to the rules with collisions. Um, as you know, anytime there's a collision, you have to back your ship up along its movement template until it's no longer colliding with another obstacle, a ship or an asteroid, something else on the field. So if there was an obstacle here, the T-70X wing would have to back up a little bit. And it's possible, depending on where he has to stop along that movement template, that he may end up off the board and therefore would have fled the field. But this, you're not having to do this every single time you make an, a movement. It's only when there's actually an obstruction there that causes you to back up along your template. You could kind of think of it as if your ship is teleporting from point to point. You don't have to trace the whole thing out. Um, that should hopefully clarify the entire thing there. Now, what happens if he hadn't done that hard left too? What if he had done something else and had miscalculated the angle and the distance he was traveling or accidentally nudged his, activate, or his uh, movement dial a little ways? Let's say he did a soft one instead. Okay, so he ends up out here. Clearly, a good portion of his ship is off the board. But the question comes, well, what if you could do something like a barrel roll? Okay, could you barrel roll back onto the board and you know, be safe at this point? And the short answer, again, is no. What The rule applies once that movement is complete. While you are technically moving your ship with a barrel roll, that's not the movement phase, that's the action part of the activation phase. Two totally separate things. The rule applies before the action is ever taken, and so the ship would have then fled the battlefield. Hopefully that clears that up and makes a little bit more sense as you're flying and hopefully gets you uh, out of some sticky situations. Tune in next time for some more rules and some fun things with Star Wars X-Wing. Thanks everybody. Bye.